what's up y'all this is Kato here hey look here check it out I just wanted to share something right quick that was really really interesting to me I was going through some old stuff in the basement of my parents home and I'm talking about some old stuff I didn't even know still existed and some stuff I actually kind of totally forgot about this has been done for years years and I came across a notebook a high school notebook that I carried around this was in high school this was probably back in I'm gonna say around 1982 83 or something like that and it was a notebook I was so much before I started playing in go go bands and you know of course before I started the whole team my go go thing and all that I was always a go go fan since the age of 14 when I went to my first go go um, well, it, it, two in the same week. One had just happened to take place a PG College and the other up at the Club LeBurn. But I had always been a, a Go-Go fan and all that. And I had always been a big fan of Ray Essence, you know, to the point where I used to walk around. I carried a notebook. This is what I wanted to share with you. I carried a notebook in high school. It was a white notebook. It was clear. And I took that notebook and I drew all on it. And on the front of the notebook, I drew the, the RE symbol, you know, with the R in the circle and the wings. And I, you know, taped a picture of the band inside. And on the back of it, I drew, uh, like, the names of the particular songs that they used to play at the time. It was real, I guess, popular among us Gogo -Go fans back then. And it was real interesting is I would go down this basement, my parents' uh, basement of their home, and I find the notebook. This is, I mean, this right here is the actual notebook. I don't know if you can really see it and all that kind of stuff. It's all faded in just the way something would be when you talk about something that was designed maybe 30 years ago. This notebook right here was a notebook that I designed, so it's real faded. It's not really white anymore. It's, you know how that fade look ha happened to have, but it was me and I had drew the uh, RE symbol, like I said, if you can really see it that good, it's kind of faded. And um, even on the inside, now I got papers on the inside, it's interesting. Ooh, it's kind of raggedy. <laughs> but on, even on the inside, well right now I'm holding it to uh, hold papers of this book that I had back in the day, had photocopied at the library, every single page to read it, because I wanted to have it. But anyway, if you look on the inside of this, you see the actual newspaper clipping when Rassens was in the uh I can't even remember which newspaper it was back. It was it was either the Washington Post or the Washington Star or one of them and it was a picture of the group. So I'm gonna say this is like maybe back in 81, 82. And um you see the guys uh uh with their Argon sweaters on with Miss Mac. <laughs> and even the picture looks really really old it was the actual newspaper clipping and right on here you see where I drew it says total groove at the top and right here it says one on one which was a particular name of the song of a song and even below here if you can see real good I'm gonna try to show you at the bottom was a train I used to I drew the uh, Rassens train that I was so hyped about one time that they came out one of their shows they came out with, I was at, I think it was one of the Armory, DC Armory. It was the show called The uh, Greatest Go on Earth when they brought that train and all that smoke out. So, and wow. And then, <laughs> looking at the, the, the inside back, the back inside cover was the lyrics I wrote to the song. If you've been thinking about leaving home and going to Hollywood, back then we called it Hollywood. I think the actual title of the song was mm -mm, good. But this was actually the same lyrics that I wrote in my high school yearbook caption, my senior year in high school. And on the back, I know you really can't see this, but it's just the square, uh, the title of some of the songs that they, uh, that they used to play back then. Get on the wagon, how you gonna do with the backs up against the wall, Maniac. Like I say, Hollywood, Fun Natural Fun, one-on-one, -on -one, He Big Fun, Roll Call, Funky Stuff, Turn On The Spotlight. Some of the same stuff y'all know, Doing The Dude, R.E. Express, Take Me Out To The Go-Go. That's where it says, right there. I don't know if you can see that. Body Moves was written at the bottom. 
really interesting, really, really interesting thing that this notebook still exists. And uh, this was a side of it. That's how much of a big Gogo -Go fan and a Rassens fan I was. And when you think about it, you forward 30, within 30 years later, and of course, um, I didn't play with the actual wrestling, but I did play in bands with many of the actual members of wrestling, like Scotty and Lil Benny and Funk and and David Green and and uh, Jungle Boogie and uh, who else I played in bands with and Marquee and a whole bunch of more. You know what I'm saying? Did in different bands with Lil Benny and the Masters and probably Tones. But I just wanted to share this thing. I show it to you one more time. This was the cover. It's real faded looking, so if we're talking back, and no, that was about like maybe 16 years old when I drew this on this number 17. This was the inside cover. <laughs> and this was the back, of course you can't see, and this was the inside. Anyway, I just thought that was a real interesting thing that I shared my high school notebook that I still have um, physically 30 something years later, all right? So, I'm gonna toss that over there because that's a heavy jump. You got a lot of papers in there. I like to read and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just glad y'all checked that out. I just wanted to share that. Ain't no super big deal. Just something to archive that I still have it. All right? Much love. Peace. Mwah. Hey, what's happening, y'all? In the words of my main man, Frankie Beverly, thank you kindly, y'all, for taking the time to stop by my YouTube channel. I hope the clip you just watched did help in some kind of way towards inspiring you towards some kind of direction. At any rate, don't forget to uh, make sure you subscribe so you can always stay up to date with any new content that I will be releasing. And other than that, have yourself a blessed day, alright? Peace.